It's a nightmare scenario for any parent, a child dying after being entrusted to a daycare provider. Tonight we're tracking just such a case while an investigation plays out in Security Widefield. Good evening, I'm Bart Bedsel. And I'm Heather Scold. Thanks for making us your choice for your news at 10 o'clock. A local daycare provider is facing charges after a child died in her care. KRDO News Channel 13 Sydney Stell joins us live from the El Paso County Jail today where that worker remains behind bars. Sydney, what are you finding out about the case? Bart Heather deputies took Dana McNair into custody today. She'll be spending the night here for the first time after a child was found dead in her unlicensed in home daycare back in February. I was so grieved, just sh shocked and grieved because I knew that it was um, a daycare and everything looked fine. A community in disbelief after hearing the news that just down the street, one of their neighbors is facing at least 15 counts of child abuse. El Paso County Sheriff's deputies say 53 year old Dana McNair operated a daycare out of her home across the street from Widefield Elementary School in Southeast El Paso County. Back on February 5th, someone called 911 to report an unresponsive child. First responders rushed the child to the hospital, but they later died. It's unclear how old the child was, but the sheriff's office says McNair cared for kids between the ages of 18 months and 7 years old. That death prompting the sheriff's office to dig deeper. An investigation was started by the sheriff's office into uh, that, that situation as well as the overall conditions at that daycare. The sheriff's office didn't answer many of our questions about what they found in the daycare, but whatever it was, it caused them to charge her with more than a dozen charges of non-injury child abuse on top of the felony charge for the death of that child. The sheriff's office could not tell us if she continued to care for kids after that child died, though it turns out McNair's daycare was unlicensed, something that shocked her neighbors. It was very surprising. Yeah, yeah, it was very surprising. Mm -hmm. Lots of like swimming pool things out front and um, kids playing and they weren't hiding. You know, they were out and, and in the summer they'd be out walking and um, doing kid things. Molly and her husband have called this neighborhood home for more than 25 years. They're still trying to process the news. We've known so many people in the community, so that was it was sad. It was so sad and I just you can't imagine being the parent of that and getting that news and can't imagine being the family. Now there is an online tool that you can use to check to make sure your child's daycare is licensed. We've got a link to that on KRDO.com. As for McNair, she'll remain here until her next court appearance on Wednesday afternoon. Live at the El Paso County Jail, I'm Sydney Stell, KRDO News Channel 13.